House Appropriations Committee. We're going to um, do what I'm hoping is our final work on the supplemental budget adjustment. Everyone received this copy of it this morning. Uh, we went through at our 10 o'clock meeting and made some changes. And um, I thought Kimberly, you had a couple of changes and uh, I wanted to highlight um, a section that I So um, let's just do this uh, really quickly. Um, uh, did anyone have any questions on the, the dollar parts, uh, pages one through 13? Did anyone have any changes there? Maybe? Hey, not a question. If somebody, I don't think we're all muted. There's an awful lot of background noise from somewhere. Okay. It's hard to hear. Okay, so now we'll use hands if everyone's muted. Did anyone have any um, changes that they saw on, on the, the dollar amounts on pages one through the top of page 14? If there are any question changes there, Diane, you need to unmute yourself. Thank you. So um, it's not a change in there. I, I did notice that you know we had made a decision in the morning, which wasn't reflected in the, the draft yet, but of the for the legislature, the 750. Oh, that's so right. So I'm thinking we I think we agreed that that would go directly to the budget for that, which would be a number change, not just language. Right, and Maria, have you made yeah. that change? So we added it to the list of the CRT funding. And um, okay. it's, you'll, it's, on, it's in the back of the bill. And that 750 is an additional um, section and it goes directly to the legislature, to their budget. Okay, oh. would that create a, a number difference? No, it doesn't. To... It's it, they're one time CRT okay. funds. When we get okay. to page 22, I copied off the one that didn't have it on it yet. The one that Teresa sent out while we were working. And when we get to page 22, I'll reflect where it needs to be and, and it should be on the newest copy that's out. Okay, yes. thank you. I'm gonna shut this door. I'm banished to the twin bedroom again, so I can hear noises, but if I shut the door, <laughs> all right. So if we start on page 14, um, I wanted to just um, highlight to the committee because we, we didn't talk about this on pages 14, 15, 16, um, those are all transportation pieces. And um, Maria has sent out a memo um, for Bob and me and talking about why the, there's so many X outs, why it's crossed out in the transportation on 14 and 15 and the top of 16. Um, it's no longer needed because um, it's related to, um, uh, to cover winter plowing and no extra money is needed for that. So it's unnecessary. So that was taken out. And then in section 58, where all that transportation language has come out on page, where's 58? 14. On page 14? Yes. Okay, thank you. Um, the um, AOT, uh, let's see, section 58 also allowed AOT to reallocate T funds to the extent necessary to keep existing projects on track with the shutdown of the construction that was also not needed. So that's why those two sections. And Bob, I didn't um, get you with another phone call, but you, uh, Maria, um, has that uh, response for us on the floor tomorrow if there's any question why those the transportation piece has been deleted. Um, are we good with that? Um, let's go, if we go to 16, um, I don't, Dave, this is your section. Is there any questions on page 16 or 17? I, I don't see any. When I went through them, I, all the new money was reflected with the AG. Um, and um, can I just ask a question on the AG? I'm just making the assumption. It's just more money came in from uh, lawsuits, right? Right. That's right. right. Yeah. But where's the okay. DFR money? Um, do I okay, see so that, that is um, just one second. That is, um, if you go on to page 18 at the top, there's a sub three. Oh, there it is. Yep, there I it see. is. Yep. 
Yep, I see it. Okay, I missed that one. So the DFR money, so that highlights all the additional money that we talked about this morning. It's in um, the next section we move to on 19 um, reflects uh, the Corona relief um, language and, and the money that we're using uh, to instead of reserves as the bridge from uh, fiscal year 20 to 21. Here it's all on one page. Does anyone have any questions on 20, 19 and 20? I, I just have a clarification. Sure. So at the top of 19, in other words, what we're stating there is that the 18 million that we had in 21 is now in a different category. It's going to the bottom line. Is that correct? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, that was my understanding when I read it. Just checking. And Kimberly, you had a question about the VSA 308, whether it needs a C there. Right. Like I tried to look up the site really quickly, I'm but sorry. it was hard to absorb. Maria, I'm on page 19 under yeah. section 29 under yeah. A2. And I just didn't know if because one in three reference section 308C, whether inadvertently that was missing a C oh, or whether- that's a good catch. Let, um, thank you. I will, uh, we'll, we'll check that. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I yeah. think that you probably are correct on that, but we will double check. Okay. Thank you, Kimberly. And then, um, so that was the closeout language. And then if we move to section 30 at the bottom of 30 and at the top of 21, that was the language that the administration put in. Uh, we, um, we capped at 250,000 to transfer. And then we added the same language. Uh, this, this shows the same language for the legislative branch at 250. So where is the administration's under 250? The ninth, oh, that's right, because my pages were upside down. Okay. Yeah, okay, that's, that sounds- Now I got it, yeah. my pages were not going the right way. Yep. That's, and then Kimberly had a question here too. Kimberly? Yeah, I, I, I'm not I'm advocating one way or another. My question is simply, we gave both the legislative and the executive branch this uh, transfer authority for the end of year 2020 closeout. And my question is whether we should also give the judicial branch that same authority. So um, my we the judicial branch has one appropriation. It's, um, I, can't, I can't remember what section it is, but they don't have to trans between, transfer between appropriations because they just have one appropriation. Okay, great. Thank yeah. you. Okay, so that, that answers that question on um, the bottom of 20 and the top of 21. And then in the middle of 21, we have uh, section 49 and these are the dollars that brought back and we see USS Vermont there. And if we turn to page 22, um, we will now see the language. It starts at the very bottom of 21, the new section that we added our committee on one-time coronavirus relief fund appropriations. Um, number one is the 500,000 um, with the language Diane proposed that would do the, all of the legislature's budgets. And then is it below that one, Maria, yeah. that we would put the 750 in? Yes, it is. And what would the number be? Would it be number two or 1B? I think it's 1B. I haven't, um, let me just see. I don't have it in front of me, but I think it's okay. So number one would be, we'll just renumber what will be the joint fiscal committee, the 500,000. Number two will be legislature 750. Okay. Um, and then, you know, judiciary becomes number three and onward. Okay. So that is where that is reflected that we did right at the end. And if you move over to 23, it moves right down through with the state colleges. UVM and everyone's checked these amounts. I've checked them. VSAC. Kitty. And language, Peter. Kitty, so I, I, I've added a little bit of language in the Vermont State Colleges and UVM. As you note, it just says uh, to cover the cost of refunds provided to students for um, camp, for two campus closure. I missed that, but at any rate, for campus closure. That's not yeah. explicit enough. Uh, for the Vermont State Colleges, it will state uh, to cover the cost of room and meal refunds provided to students. 
uh, for campus closures during the COVID pandemic and for University of Vermont, it will state to cover the cost of rooms and parking. I'll explain in a moment, uh, refunds provided to students uh, for campus closure during the, the COVID uh, uh, crisis. And Maria, if you would remove the word to there because there's, it yeah. just doesn't read correctly. But, yeah, thank um, you. We, yes. we did find so, that, yes. Yeah. So UVM uh, contacted Sodexo, that's their food service provider. Uh, Sodexo issued UVM a refund for room uh, for meals, and and UVM just forwarded just passed through the money right to the students. So that's already taken care of. No meal uh, issue, just rooms. And there's parking issue in Burlington, so sometimes students have to pay for parking. So they were refunded for that as well. So thank you, Peter. Vermont State Colleges room and meals, UVM room and parking. Those will be explicitly stated in the uh, bill. And Maria, that's already, have you already done that in your copy? Um, yes, I have, if that's okay. We'll... Perfect, yes, yeah. perfect. Um, can Marty, I ask a question about that? Uh, sure, um, Chip and then Marty. Um, is there, and maybe this is for Steve, uh, is there an advantage in, in leaving it, you know, sort of general in the way it is now, just to say for the, to cover the cost of refunds Due to student uh, campus closures, and and if there's a if there's a question about it um, from the federal government, you know that they, they will attract the, what those expenditures were for. I just wonder if leaving it more general might give us a little leeway and and maybe not attract attention about what we're using it for. Yeah, you know, I I, I sort of lean that way. I sort of agree with you, uh, Representative. Um, that if you don't need to make it more specific, why not just leave it general? But I don't know that I have any really strong, uh, solid guidance. I just tend to think that, um, but it's up to you all. You know, this is clearly, uh, this is as long as the general is okay, but it may be better to be specific so yeah, people know just what you're doing. Yeah, so you can justify it as yeah. CRT funds, yeah. CRF funds. Uh, well, I think either way, it's just, a, it's a, there's plus and minuses both ways. So I, t I tend to lean that way, but I could go either way and it's up to you all. Marty, are you on the same topic? <clears throat> no, I'll come back. Bob, is yours on this topic? Yeah, my my no. topic is on the BFAC. Okay, we'll come back to you, Mar uh, Bob. Is yours on this? It's not on this topic, no. Okay. So uh, how does the committee feel? I, it sounds like we could do it either way to if we end up having to justify it, we're going to have to be able to justify it anyway. Um, so my recommendation, think? because there's going to be more COVID costs coming, uh, and because if we get into tuition, I haven't even thought about, you know, if, if, if it were too broad, somebody might say, what about tuition costs? Because we weren't at school. We were actually at home. Um, and I don't, mm -hmm. I don't think we ought to go there. So my reasoning for wanting to be narrow here is mm -hmm. to ensure everybody knew exactly what those funds were for. No yeah. question. That's probably, probably yeah, fine. That's fine. Yeah. And we and we have more costs coming up that may end up yes, at the Senate do. side as soon as the, uh, the colleges yeah. have calculated yeah. some amounts uh, for PPE and, and um, um, personnel costs there were some other things that, that they needed in sanitation that they needed yeah. to so um it was a good catch chip um peter thinks we should keep it the way it is let's just do a quick vote of hands how many of you vote to keep it the way it is and by keeping it the way it is that means we're going to be explicit right with, with peter's that's right yeah. with peter's okay right. okay uh put your hands down um and it looks like we have a, a majority cool. Um, Chip, are you okay with this? Okay. Uh, Marty. My question was on the 5A, the BSAC. Mm -hmm. I understand the, the five part, but the A where we're talking about our intention. Mm -hmm. I'm confused about that last sentence about the $5 million. If that means we're intending 19 million plus 5 million, I don't think that was what our decision was the other day. And okay. it refers to that same subsection, which I don't understand. Wait, uh, that, I think that is the, actually, you stepped me there, because that is the intention to do 25 minutes. 
Yes, that's but it's what I understood from Peter. Five plus that yes. nineteen. Yeah, that we would do the five million in uh, COVID dollars in <clears> level. <throat> to level the five is here. It's already here. The intention the is to level is one as well. Five plus nineteen. Yeah, yeah. I thought it. I thought it. Uh, so I mean, I, I know if I, well, maybe you guys need to decide. I mean, I, I think that it is supposed to be additive. It's a five point one. You think you should just not say it and just have it be additive, or do you want to clarify that? Peter, this is your section. Do you want to walk through this? So we've got 5.1 million in, sorry, I'm talking with my hands like I always do when we're not even in committee. Uh, we have $5.1 million that is in here for the BAA FY20 budget so that they can push that money out the door immediately. And then for FY21, we have 19 million nine and whatever. Uh, that, that we're that we have intent language for. So how do we say that and and get it correct so that we don't confuse people? That's the question, Steve. Cool. Yeah, I mean, to me, my question is: We're only intending to tell them nineteen. Yeah. We're not intending to tell them twenty-five for next year, are we? For F for the FY twenty-one so. budget, it's nineteen and change for next year. That's right. Plus the, the five point one, no, the okay. the 1 is, the, is in the BAA. Yeah, but it's going to be available for right yeah, but we'll incorporate it once in 20. yeah i think we're all i think i'm just saying we're all saying the same thing the 5.1 is getting appropriated in 20. it's not going to get well, reappropriated so it's there but they're not going to spend it in 20. they're going to have it to spend in 21 really as i understand it and so that plus the 19 will be available to them in 20. is that correct so or not I agree with, I see Marty's confusion. In five, we have the 5.1 that is going out in the BAA. And in 5A, we're doing the intent for the 19 yeah, see. in the budget adjustment. I think we should cross out that last sentence. Okay. Yeah, fine. I think so too. Okay, okay good. Uh, my only concern here, and I brought it up earlier, is that we need to make sure that it's reflected appropriately. And this is what was recommended, but no, I am fine with dropping that last sentence. To me, it makes it actually clearer. Because it's two different pots of money, the 19th right. general fund and the other, right. the other pot is COVID. Oh, that's a good point, Kitty. Yeah, that's yeah. a really good point. Yeah, no, that's a really good point. That's okay. the yeah. process. So, hey, Kitty. Yes, yes, Mary. And all. So maybe it would make sense rather than having that as a, a sub A, make it a number seven so that it doesn't look like it is a subset of six, which is kind of where the confusion came in. Yeah. And just make it as a separate statement as number seven, that it's our intent to do that. Does that work, uh, Maria, to do that, to just make it number seven? Um, I, I guess it does work. It's not, this is a list of um, CRF funds. So seven so is it really, not CRF, it's yeah. not a CRF thing. So okay, fine. that's why we, we stuck it under as a sub A. Yeah. Because it's related, but it's not exactly the same. Okay. I think if Can't we, we just put it someplace else? Could, yeah, could do that. That might make more sense. Yeah. I think so. We don't have okay, let's do that. Yeah. Okay. So where would you look where you would move it to? Um, we could make a separate section right right there um, before 34. Or I'm gonna talk to the people that are actually, I'll, I'll talk to Becky to see what's easiest, but we could make it a separate section and call it um, intent um, on FY 2021 funding for VZAC, something like that. And then just have this sentence in there you know, perhaps uh, if you actually put that in front of section 33, coronavirus relief fund as an intent section there, it would it would fit better. And then we okay. talk about the coronavirus relief fund. Okay. All right. Yeah, we can do that. Thank you, Marty. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Conclusion. Okay, Bob. Bob, you're muted. You need to unmute. I'm all set. Okay. You're all set? And then uh, the section 34 below that is was brought to us by the treasurer, um, which, um, let's see, made it your two um, questions there. Tomorrow we're going to talk us up the whole rate at 10 o'clock and we'll be on. I'm just going to do the overview and then as questions come in, 
I'm going to yield to whichever member has that section of the budget. And um, Kitty. I think we're all ready for this. Peter? So the only thing that I did is, is there is no indication in there of the uh, meeting at which the treasurer shall report to the joint fiscal committee. So I, I did uh, email back uh, to, to Maria and what they're gonna do is make sure that throughout the entire budget, the joint fiscal committee August meeting, it's typically not August, but it's going to be August meeting is reflected every time there's Sorry. a joint fiscal committee meeting ref, uh, stated in here. Thank you. And then after that, if it's not ready or if there's more then the joint fiscal committee will have that on their agenda. Right, right. Okay. Thank you, Peter. Kimberly? Uh, just a quick note. We seem to have two section 34s there. Okay, so that's, um, I see, I see it's going to be, it's all renumbered. It's being edited. So that'll be fixed, but thank you. And Marty. Nope, you're good. And Chip. There we go. I'm trying to do too many things on one screen here. Um, so uh, the, it's just a question, that, and I, I hesitate to get into the weeds about it, and I'm sure JFO is on top of it, but I'm just wondering how, so the treasurer will have to determine what the amount of um, money that needs to be to go into the state retirement system in order to account for these costs will be. Those, those costs or those additional um, amounts may go on, you know, through the whole time we could, um, well, I don't know how long they go on, but they certainly could go on for a while. I'm just wondering at what point will she have to make a, a determination about, we think this is the amount that's got to come out of those, out of these Corona relief funds to be put in there. And, and how will, how will we encumber that amount when we're looking at what all of the fun, all of that fund might be used for? That will be at the August JFC meeting. Um, Peter has recommended that we that the report back date will be for the August meeting, and so it would be done there and by the Joint Fiscal Committee um, against the the remaining uh, balance of the one point two five billion. Well, let me just. I just want to follow up on that because there is a concern. The CF money can be spent all the way through December, so that there will be you will be continuing to. A, incur costs which will be impacting the retirement all the way through December. So my sense is you could have a preliminary report in August, but yeah. she's gonna be doing this collection of data all the way up until next January. So I, I guess that was probably part of the thinking of leaving a little bit vague. I think you may wanna, if you wanna have an initial report in August, that'd be fine. But uh, as long as you have CRF money to spend, you're gonna be potentially incurring a liability. Right, but hopefully we won't be here and then the JFC would, would continue that reporting as needed by the treasurer. Is that correct? Would that be? Yeah, needed? although I think the final report will probably be sometime in January or February when they've when the when the CRS money money has all been spent and you're you know, she'll probably have to you know, the end will be a little funky because yeah. when the money has to be expended by December thirtieth, she'll need to get her last uh, attribution to the retirement system before then, but we may actually yeah. have not wound down all the spending going on. So it's a little bit of a, there'll be a little bit of a dance in December. And I think you'll, you'll, January is probably when you'll know exactly how much she put aside. Do we need to reflect that in the language here, Steve, or not? I don't think so. I think that as long as you maybe just say, she'll give a preliminary report in maybe August if you want to do that and just realize it's not a final report. Sure. The, this is only a process. Um, Chip, were you finished? Yeah, I mean, I, I just, I guess that's, I just wanted to understand how that was going to work. Um, and I understand it will be a little bit funky at the end. Um, but as long as I, so as long as she's sort of making those determinations along the way and we're encumbering that amount of money, I don't know what it's going to amount to, but we're encumbering that amount of money out of the whatever it is, one and a quarter billion then we'll know and right at the end we'll have to make an, our best guess i guess no adjustment uh, mary i i wonder why bother even having a date that she would make a preliminary re 
Yeah, I Words aren't working. Uh, why, why bother having the preliminary report? I agree with the notion we usually like to say a, a report by a date certain, but since we're not sure when that's going to be, why not leave it that we just expect a report and we'll get it when it's time to give it? I think that makes sense. Okay. Peter, what do you think? And not that's fine. I just, you know, it's just that, that yeah. we're, we, the legislative body, need to understand <laughs> the funds that are being allocated to wherever they're being allocated to. And to have the information all at the same time, there's a lot of August uh, reference to Joint Fiscal Committee in this in this bill, and I just felt let's be consistent across. But if you want to leave it um, leave it open ended, there obviously we have a little little better uh, connection with Beth Pierce than most, so I'm fine with that. Okay, I think I think that Chip does that address it better if we just left it a report. Yeah, I mean, I like Peter is saying. I think. Um, we don't need maybe, uh, you know, an official report, but it would be very helpful to have an understanding as we go along how much she thinks we're going to need to, to take out of the uh, CFR, CRF to use for this, um, just, you know, sort of tracking it along and, and recognizing that right at the end we'll have a little bit of a question, but yeah. Okay. So Two ways to vote, leave it as it is, or have an initial or a preliminary report in August. So um, using your real hand, um, how many of you would vote to leave it as is? One, two, three, four, four. Okay, how many of you put those hands down? How many of you would like to have a preliminary August report? One. I'm not voting twice to <laughs> I'm not sure I know what the question is. I thought it was leave it as it is with the report or uh, not have her have an official report just sort of keep us up to date. Well that's leaving it as it is now. Oh, okay. Sorry, I should have voted um, for that then. Um I, <laughs> But let's start this again. Look at the language, and if you would like to leave the language as it is now, where the treasurer shall report the amount transferred under the authority to the Joint Fiscal Committee and to the Commissioner in Finance and Management, use your blue hands. How many of use your blue hands? How many of you'd like to leave the language as it's printed now? Jeff, which way do you want it? I need a blue hand. I, I, I did, it just went away, but there it is again. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I have six. One, two, You're three. Good. Dave, Diane, Mary, Chip, Nada, Linda. Do I have everybody? Okay, so that's six. We'll put those hands down. You lower your hands. And um, how many of you would like to move it to Peter's language? And, uh, six to four. So Make we will leave it as it is, and we'll all yep. make sure that um, we're following the treasurer's um, actions. That brings us to the effective dates. Um, and the sections, as Kimberly noted, will be updated. And any other thoughts on the budget adjustment? Kitty, Dave here. Uh, just hi, Dave. Uh, hi. Tr trying to be helpful. This may exist, but I just haven't accessed it recently. If I were on the floor, I think I would ask um, after BAA is approved, how much of the CFR will be? unencumbered what's remaining um you know this is a this this is an excellent question and um Catherine Benham and I think Maria or Teresa um are are writing a letter um to that will go out to all 180 members that will tell about uh the actions of the joint fiscal committee and the three buckets and and what's already been approved and then below that, there will be two links. There will be a link that goes directly to the JFO site that shows uh, what has been spent out of the CRF dollars. And then there will be a second link that will be the administration's COVID-19 tracker.
that tracks all those other dollars as well that have come in and where they've gone. And so they could go at that site and get the updated number based on um, the actions of the Joint Fiscal Committee and what's been appropriated from us. That sounds great. Okay. So I, we could have a number tomorrow, um, but I think there's some moving pieces and I wanna make sure all those categories are reflected correctly. And so um, I'm hoping that that letter will be out before we're on the floor. So everybody will be receiving that email. So everyone gets the same message with the same links and then we'll know where to continue to look. So we could also just give you, we'll just do a total of, just to give you a total, it's gonna to be an approximate total. It's in the neighborhood of 200 million, but I don't know whether it's 190, you know, somewhere between 195 and 205. But okay. I'll, we'll, we'll figure that out. And send approximately 200, thank you, thanks yeah. Dave. Okay, any other thoughts? Uh, tomorrow we have the caucus of the whole. I think we're all set to go over that. There's, I'll do the highlights of the four pieces. Um, the problem, the revenue coming in, the end of year construct and the COVID-19 dollars that we're putting out. And you guys are set to change questions. All right, are we ready to take a real vote on um, the Supplemental Budget Adjustment Act? Would you, like a, would you like a motion, Madam Chair? That would be wonderful, Diane. I would like to to move that we favor that we report favorably the fiscal year 2020 supplemental budget adjustment. Second. Thank you. We have a motion and we have a second. Are there any final thoughts or concerns? Do I have any hands? Any thoughts or concerns? Any other corrections? If not. The clerk shall call the roll. Representative Conquest. Yes. Representative Fagan. Yes. Representative Feltis. You're muted. You're muted. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. Representative Helm. Yes. Representative Hooper. Yes. Representative Jessup. Yes. Representative Lanfer. Yes. Representative Myers. Yes. Representative Townsend. Yes. Representative Yacobone. Yes. Representative Toll. Yes. That would be an 11 0. Excellent. And I believe it will be on the floor on Friday. And anybody that, um, you know, please reach out to people that that you know will want to know about the budget adjustment and we all have divided up the list of membership and uh, anything that we can do to get answers, uh, questions answered ahead of time and clarification just makes it um, more understandable on the floor so we can make any corrections or adjustments. So is it Representative Toll, the reporter of the day? Yes, Representative uh, Toll. So, uh, Representative Lanfer will send the vote record to um, the House clerk and CC you and I, and then you will confirm with the clerk that this committee bill has your permission to move forward and get a number. Uh, Diane, I'll send you the email and you can reply all to everybody. Okay, thank you. And um, just so that members know, um, there's probably going to be additional uh, CRF spending. Uh, it's continuing to go along and there, there's um, a proposal from the administration this morning, but it has not had time to be vetted through any committees of jurisdiction. Marty, you'll want to follow it. It is to open the state parks and uh, additional money needed for sanitation to get those parks open. Um, um, since it had not gone through the committees of jurisdiction uh, and it wasn't, you know, simply a, a legislative salary for an additional six weeks, um, I, I think it has to go through the process because we'd, we'd have another one this afternoon, we'd have another one tomorrow, and um, those will be continued um, to uh, uh, develop on the Senate side, so we may have... Um, a proposal of amendment. I can't believe they'll just accept it the way it is, but maybe they will. 
And then we will continue with those expenses in the skinny bill and then even continue them beyond in August, September bill as we as we spend down that $1.25 billion. Okay, but the only one I know of right now that's in the process, Peter, for the state colleges and UVM. I've got both of them. They just came in yesterday. I haven't looked at them yet, but I yeah. got both of them. And so you will follow those in the Senate and Marty, this is the only other one that I know about that just came in um, was the state parks. Maida. Um, if I could uh, have any information with regard to this piece about state parks, since I've got the forest parks and rec budget, oh, right. um, I'd appreciate that too. Yep, no, it's, it's yours and not Marty's. I, I keep, she has natural resources and I always put them together. Uh, yeah, I'll send you that memo, Maida. Okay, thank you. Uh, I think we're good. The sun is out. We should all go out and enjoy it a little bit. This was good work. I think we did some good work. And of course, thank you to the Joint Fiscal Committee. No, office, not the committee, the office. Uh, Marty? I was just wondering if you have any idea when the administration will have the skinny bill available for us. Uh, I think Steve did have an update on that. Steve, are you still with us? Maria, are you with us still? Oh, there's. We were just calculating here. So, what was I updating you on? M Marty has asked. Do you um, know when the administration? Do, do you know when I, the administration will have the skinny bill ready? This is a really. That's a really good question. So we talked to. Um, this is something where I, I'm going to rely on the chair to um, express concern because. The, um, we talked to Adam last night and what, what he told us was that he was sending out the budget instructions sometime this week. And then he was gonna give the eight departments a week to get back to him. And then he would be um, produce the budget sometime after that, which is a problem for us because that's, that doesn't get you in, out of here in time <clears throat> to, to a budget. So one thing we, we briefly talked about other than that we probably, uh, is when they do the budget instructions, at least they could go over that with three and say, here are all the questions that need to be answered in the skinny bill. And maybe we would just start working on them. But you're, I, um, uh, this is a, there's a potential problem here. And I think it takes a little bit of, it'll take some work from leadership and um, not just your committee, but I think the leadership of the administration that things have to start moving. Um, so it's, I, I can't tell you that there's a happy situation yet in that. And so what, um, I will have a conversation with Adam uh, later today. What, what I'm hoping is if um, this can get it to us earlier like they did with the budget adjustment that, that did come in on that Monday. And so that was good. Um, if we cannot get it sooner though, we're going to have to start our work by going through the 21 budget language like we did with the budget adjustment language and see what language uh, needs to be in a bill, which language is just off the table, which language is pushed out to the next fiscal year. Uh, we can continue um, working with CRF funding, and we can also hear from Steve as he learned from Kavet about the different percentages um, and what they would mean uh, for reductions in uh, budgets in the first quarter, a reduced amount of appropriation going out, as well as what things need to be funded like debt service and do we fund just the full 25% for the first quarter or do we identify the full year amount? So there is, um, there will be some things we can get going on. That's not right. Um, That's correct. And I think we may, and what we may have to do is just start and it'll be um, uh, where we just, cause we know a lot of the questions and, but it's, it's a complicated process. And I, I don't know that, um, these are the type of things that usually leadership have conversations about and figure it out. So sort of over my pay grade. Uh, we're not gonna stand still. We're gonna have to start our work at least. And you know, we may not be working as often, but we'll start it. So we won't be have meeting tomorrow. We'll just zoom in on the meeting at 10 o'clock. And then I wanted to know uh, from the committee, um, we probably won't meet on Thursday and then we'll be on the floor Friday for action and we will start our work next week, the skinny bill. How does that sound? Almeida? We're just sitting here calculating. Yeah, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm not focused. 
So those are the numbers. Is there a question? Steve and Maria, can you mute, please? Yes, yeah. I'm so sorry. Oh, wait, we're we were. And I need to unmute. Okay, so we're unmute. Kids, we'll okay, wait. now we're unmuted. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Rita. Will all of us on the, will all of us on the committee have a clean copy of the supplemental budget before tomorrow morning, or is to or is that not likely? Um, Maria. So I think that we can make these few little changes and send it out tonight. I'm gonna make that statement and um, I'm pretty sure I'm right. I think you can send it out. So you have something to work with. Thanks. I'll talk to the people in the other room. They may say like, ah. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Mary, Mary, sorry. Um, I was wondering with regard to the skinny 21 bill, I was wondering if one could suggest what the ideal date was to get it out of our committee. I, I'm just trying to work backward in terms of what we're aiming at. Well, um, it's an interesting question. If we look at our timing, you know, we were thinking about having it out of our committee by the end of May so that the Senate would get it. Um, what's our timing looking like now, Steve? Well, so on the muter, I guess, oh good. So, I mean, the hope is to get it to the governor at the latest would be by June 19th, um, because that gives him a, yeah. a, a week to sort of, um, it's even tight because he, if he has five days to consider it, he needs to get everything put in place. That's, that's the latest. So then if you count backward, you probably are gonna need some time to conference and vote the bill. And so if you sort of, that counts back to a week down to the 12th and then the question is, does the Senate take a week to do it or, or uh, longer? Um, and if you, give, if you only give them a week, that gets you down to uh, the fifth, which is pretty tight for the Senate to, because they still have to vote it. So I would say probably they need it by maybe the, the third. And, and if you on the floor will take three or four days to uh, take it up. So that gets you to May 29th. So we're already looking at, we're in, May, in 5-12. Yeah. which means that the bill has to, uh, you, uh, you're talking about 18 days um, between now and when that bill has to be either through the house or something. And so if you if it gets put off very quick for a long time, there's a real problem. So uh, well, I don't really- Yeah, and if you see this week is used up, Steve, because if we're correct. on for the 13th and the bill- is That'll up give you two weeks. 15th. Yep, if the 15th is the Friday, if you started on the 18th, you will have um, two weeks. Two weeks, and uh, to do the uh, the budget. And if the administration is not going to get it to you for another week and a half, you will have huh. three days. So it doesn't really work. <laughs> so um, we this is a big deal. This is like yeah. um, a problem, and um, you're asking the right question. I, I like the three day timeline, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> the administration does too. <laughs> I bet they do. That's all you need. That and that's just it. I mean, we took what we spent two weeks on the budget adjustment, which yep. was a very one simple, week. One week. Very, yeah. One week. I think it was about a week and two days. Yeah, yeah. it's not very long. But there's virtually nothing in this yeah. that is a hard decision. The skinny budget harder. is going to be an extraordinarily hard yeah. bill to do. Yeah. I mean, I see that. It'll be very complex because you're going to be cutting across the board to a lot of departments. Yeah, be having some exceptions, and you're going to have um, uh, the lobbyists will be enforced because you know everybody is uh, got things in the original big bill, and they're going to want to make sure that they're protected. So it's it's not going to be as simple. Uh, yeah. Okay. So um, let's hang on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it'll be an interesting well, ride. Can't if we, we at least testimony. take testimony? Well, it's hard to take testimony from the um, departments if the administration hasn't approved their changes. And so what they tell us, they will. No, I understand that, but I, right. I meant testimony, joint testimony with the Senate once we get the skinny bill. 
as opposed to our doing a whole bunch of review and then having them do a whole bunch of review. Once we get the skinny bill, we have a conversation we more about that. Can't we in the Senate. <laughs> I, I think that. <laughs> I well, think that's a great idea. Uh, I think that there's going to have to be some coordination with the Senate, and perhaps we can do some um, uh, joint testimony, um, and even with our work. Like, um, you know, you know, if there's issues within DCF, the judiciary, you know, where states attorneys, you know, whoever's office it is, um, that we can benefit right. from the same information and move it faster. Yeah. That, 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 that will be that will be fun. I wonder who will be in charge of those joint meetings. <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah. Could he, yeah. Could, could he, may course. I ask a question? Yes, yes, Dave. Um, and this may be a Steve question, I don't know, but but we've heard AHS has granted what they referred to as quote stabilization end quote uh, grants to different provider segments to stabilize them during this uh unsteady situation. I assume that those are uh, COVID funds. I'm pretty sure they are. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, where does that end? Uh, could someone say, hey, I want to stabilize uh, dairy farming. I want to stabilize mm -hmm. okay. restaurants. I want to stabilize, yep. pick, pick your choice there. Mm -hmm. um, uh, is, are there any limits to that? I know lots of policy there, but what one might say you ought to be doing this if you want to stabilize them sooner than later. And and BAA wasn't the appropriate place, but the skinny bill might be. Do you know um, if, are there limitations on that or do they get to decide what needs to be stabilized? Well, the, you're asking the hard question. So the answer is the, the, how the Senate may put dairy farmers in, for example, and uh, mm -hmm. you're gonna, a little of this, you know, there's already been a hazard pay bill and there's a lot of talk about EMS as being an issue that uh, is coming up. So, um, the this is like a 1.25 billion of which you just to give you we'll write this down but you spend 190 million which means you have about 1.059 million 1.059 billion to go. so there's a lot of money out there and you know there's a lot of uses or things we can stabilize you know yep. broadband housing yep. homeless yep. and so one of the problems and you're going to hear the administration tomorrow we heard is going to be offering some sort of business Plan. I don't know what it is, but um, this is like a little bit of a, uh, you know, on the one hand, you have this tw quarterly quarter bill of the 21 budget. On the other hand, you have this large amount of money out there, which could be stabilizing lots of different things. And that, that's what creates this sort of sense in me that the timing may not be a uh, slam dunk for three days. You know, it, it, um, mm -hmm. there may be um, decisions that you have to make. So it's, um, they're very real questions. Well, uh, yeah, the, and they're sitting and reacting to somebody proposing something, or yes. they're taking the initiative and saying, "Hey, House Commerce, do this." Hey, House, I'm not picking right. on Commerce. Um, uh, <laughs> taking the initiative to to lead on it because by the time we vet those kind of things through our policy committees, I don't see I can do it in three days. Right. Yeah, I but, do think the House committees are working. Um, you know. Okay. I, I believe some of I know that you know the the chair and and I don't know how much the committee has met in technology, but you know they're 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 well aware of broadband issues and are thinking of ways to address it. So there is some of that work going on. But you're right, Dave. It's it's um, instead of just to, um, put it on the yeah. table. And in in a sense, uh, and the chair is going to have to. You can't you can't kick me virtually, which is a problem. But if uh, I go too far in the direction, but uh, the Senate is also talking about local aid. Like, do we give $25 million of the money to local yep, governments? To municipalities. That, yeah, so that may come back in the house in the budget adjustment. Um, there's also, we heard today that the Parks Department wants to open this summer, and that may be $2 million. So there's going to be a lot of things which are, are good to do. One of the things that, and just conceptually, one of the things that happens in Congress when, when they have a budget that they have lots of people gnawing at and is they have what's called a budget resolution where you sort of say to yourself all right we have x money let's just set some parameters of how much will be used in different areas and then work to that and you know maybe that's a concept that needs to happen where the the senator house or leadership has to say you know we have a billion dollars left you know how do we what is sort of the the what's the frame that you want to consider that in um but even that 
I mean, all of this is sort of types of approaches that are longer than a matter of days or even a matter of weeks. So it's, it's um, yeah. And, and so if you have thoughts, you should be reaching out to committee chairs to see the direction their committee yeah. is thinking of going in. Yeah. Um, Mary, did you have a question? Your hand was up and then it's down. I've been putting it up and down just because I have some thoughts on this, but I'll, I'll wait. I, I think it, other than to say that whatever we can do in advance of receiving a budget is wise. And um, I would prefer us to be saying how we want to be spending this money rather than reacting to a proposal um, from the administration. We, we know what is needed out there or we are learning. So let us be setting the parameters for that in my view. Maida. Maida? Was, was that me? Yeah, yeah. you're here. Um, just, just to add to the list as people were referring to many good uh, uses of the, the money to which we have access. We can't forget we, we need to be building that bridge for the state college system. Oh yeah. Which is gonna be more than a few pennies. And what dollars would be available if, if yes. $19 are not available to do that, where do we find them? Yes. Current budget, yeah. Good point, uh, good reminder, yeah. reminder, Maida. Okay, um, so we'll be on the floor tomorrow and Friday and we'll start, um, we'll get an agenda out. I'll work with Teresa we'll, uh, for, uh, probably we should meet um, on Monday of next week and get started. Would, would all committee members agree with that? Okay, so we'll set up time. Uh, is Monday morning or Monday afternoon better for committee members? I, I'm fresher in the morning. <laughs> Personally, we have joint fiscal at nine, at nine on Monday. Okay, so I like the afternoon. Oh, I do too. But I'll meet anytime. Yeah. So Get with the walking. joint with, with the joint fiscal um, meeting, um, the earliest we could meet would probably be ten thirty. So um, we could meet from if we want to meet over lunch, we could meet from eleven to one and get started. Does that? Sure. Or, or, or 10.30 to 1? Sure. 10.30 to 1? I want to, I need a little break in between. The so if, if um, yeah, why don't we start at 11? 10 and yeah. let, Eleven. 11 to 1? <clears throat> I think two hours to get, um, to get organized on the city bill. Um, would be a uh, good a start. Some language. Christmas tree. Okay. So is that so, that's already eighteen? Right. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. I think I'm gonna be needing to spend this little off time here too, putting like Dave's it's sketching out and what Mary said, what what did what should it be looking like? Yeah. So eleven to one and I've got to get a, a, a I need to get a, a calendar to Catherine so that she can do our Zoom meetings. Um, do we want to meet? Um, do we want so it's to 11, 11 to 1 now? Yes, 11 to 1 on Monday. Kitty, are you meeting any more this week? Nope. No. So cancel all the ones this week. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So, so, can, so we got said second reading on Thursday and third on Friday. No, it's going to be, it's all How's this working. Probably rules will be suspended if there's nothing controversial on so Friday. We'll learn. And we do it all on Friday. We'll probably yeah. do the whole thing Friday. All right. Okay. Mary? So 11 to 1 on Monday. And then why don't we leave the rest of the week the way it has been, which is the what, 8.30 8 to 10.30 and 1 to 3? and we can adjust according. Okay, Lee. except on Wednesday, I'm getting a crown at eight o'clock in the morning that I, I've got to get. So uh, if you want to do the meeting without me, I'm fine with that. Nah. Yeah, we see where we're at. 
if we've you got go something get to... crown. We don't want you to have a toothache. <laughs> well, I'm not canceling that. You'll get grump. You'll get grumpy. So, not uh, pity. So I'm going to book it in my time just so that it's already booked because we might just be working. You may be getting your crown and we might have just even off Zoom just be working on stuff. So the Tuesday, we're going to do 8.30 to 10.30? Katie, I have to leave. I'm not being rude. I just have okay. to. We'll, we'll, get, um, we'll, we'll, get, see we'll, we'll get it uh, to you. I don't think we need the morning afternoon because I don't think we're going to have an, enough to do those five okay. um, with, without knowing anything from the agencies. In yeah. yeah, but we could be working like we said, what do we want to be able to do instead of just reacting, spending all of our time reacting? What do we want to do? So I think that then if we be in the morning, we can be doing a lot of individual work in the afternoons. Yep. The rest of the day. So on so Monday is eleven to one. Tuesday is eight thirty to ten thirty. What do you want to do Wednesday? If you can't join us, Kitty, we'll meet in the afternoon instead. Yeah. And hopefully, one to three. Be drooling or anything. Right, yeah. one to three on Wednesday. Except the house is the house is oh, on the floor. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Never mind. We'll take Never. Wednesday off then. Let's just hold on Wednesday. And then Thursday, let's do 8.30, 8.30 to 10.30. Okay. Yep. And, um, and then we can also reserve the afternoon in case we have something uh, right. to work on, one to three. Somebody going to send this to me? I'm so confused yeah. I can't yep. see straight. We will. Friday next week, we're on the floor at 10 o'clock. But why don't we, surely by then we'll have a budget and have a reason yeah. to be meeting. So we may want yeah. to just count on 8.30. Yeah. 8.30 to 9.30. You know, at, <laughs> our priority is going to be to get this skinny budget done and we're just not going to be able yeah, to do it we don't the need floor, to be on the floor. Probably. Okay, good point. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. So we'll be 8.30 and that can be open on Friday because maybe Adam will have a presentation on on friday if it's not fun. we'll give him ours <laughs> it always works too all right as dave said if you have priorities and areas that you're thinking of that uh, of areas that need big dollars get working on them okay get outside it's really nice out and thank you i think we're in pretty good shape kitty i'm going to stop the live stream okay